He was a saxophone legend and one of Houston's own. Tonight, the music industry mourning the loss of blues and R&B great Grady Gaines. Channel 2's Rochelle Turner has a look back on his sixth decade career. What? Grady Gaines and the Texas Upsetters were known for their authentic and soulful music. That's Grady himself with his saxophone jazzing to the beat. Mr. Grady Gaines, he loved his music. That was his whole talk, his music. That was his history, his life. That's his wife, Clement, also known as Nail. She and Grady were married for 35 years. He was a very lovely, nice Nice guy. The Houston-based native was a blues and R&B tenor saxophone player. He and his younger brother, Roy, began playing music at a young age. His son, Grady Gaines Jr., says he was always on the road. Traveling with um, musicians from all around, all around the, the country. He performed and recorded with several people, including Sam Cooke, Little Richard, and James Brown. Susie Kreiner is the founding owner of Gulf Coast Entertainment and managed Grady's career. He had a huge, big sound in his horn, unlike anyone else. It was very distinctive. The Motown legend passed away on Friday at his home in Houston. He was 86 years old. I miss him so very dearly much. Oh, I miss him. I couldn't even sleep last night. I tossed and turned. The famous saxophonist may be gone, but his son Grady Gaines Jr. is keeping his music and legacy alive as the leader of the Texas Upsetters. It's very important um, when you consider <clears throat> the number of parties and corporate events, private events, and you, you can see the people having a great time. Grady devoted over six decades to playing music. He released three albums and received countless awards and proclamations throughout his career. He told me once, I'm just, I'm just an everyday person. He touched the lives of so many musicians and people. He will always be remembered. Um, his talent was God-given. He realized it at an early age. For KPRC 2 News, I'm Rochelle Turner.